It's a good story. Everyone's story is always a good story until it's not. Run This Town follows a fictional reporter scrambling to find a video of the Toronto mayor smoking crack. You have to give me a couple of days before you do anything here. Do you think it's real? I don't know. For Torontonians, the media circus surrounding Rob Ford was all too real. That's the mayor! <laughs> He's a one-man stampede! In the film, British actor Damien Lewis portrays the mayor as an addicted and abusive boss. This former city councillor says the movie ignored a critical facet of Ford. The humanness of, uh, of Rob uh, did not come out in that film, and I think they missed that, that part of him. There, he, does have a he did have, does have a lot of support in Toronto, and there's a reason for that. The film also takes some big liberties, cutting out the role of the Toronto journalists, Kevin Donovan and Robin Doolittle, who first reported on the crack smoking video. Instead, the film is centered around a young male reporter played by Ben Platt. When the casting was first revealed, Doolittle tweeted sarcastically, why have a woman be a lead character when a man could do it? The first time I, I watched it, I, was, uh, I felt uh, angry that they had, had taken that license and, and erased uh, what we did. Donovan has seen Run This Town and appreciates parts of it. I thought they did the backroom politics uh, bang on. But is disappointed with the betrayal of the press as hungry for clicks and ready to pay for scoops. Do you know what kind of traffic this can pull to the site? I do fear that the public will see the movie and think that's, that's all we do. We just wait for a phone call to come in. At the premiere, the director says he wasn't interested in the actual reporters. If I had named the character a real journalist's name, it would be doing their story a disservice. This is a story about somebody who is not good at their job and thinks they deserve everything. Canadian Nina Dobrev plays one of Ford's aides. She says while many of the characters are fictional, the impact Ford had on the people around him was real. There's a lot of uncomfortable moments for my character in this film, and that's also part of why I felt like it was important to tell the story to keep that conversation going. CBC News reached out to Doug Ford, Rob's brother, but the premiere declined to comment. Canadians can decide for themselves when the film opens Friday. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.